Hey guys, this is Mr. AJ's Tech here. So I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPad 2 on 5.0 beta. Now, um, this also will work for your iPhone 4, your iPad 1, and your iPhone 3GS, also including the iPod Touch line, the 3G, and the 4G. Now, I am showing you this on beta. However, if some people are watching this after the um, beta is released and um, actual signing for 5 or 4.3.3 is over, I'm going to tell you a few steps. Um, this video is not totally pertaining to that. However, I will give you a few steps, as including a link down below. So if you are watching this later, just remember that you need SHSH files for 4.3.3. Again, this is if you're watching it later, after 5.0 beta is uh, up. And uh, if you're watching that later, you need SHSH files, and you also need to mod your host files. Again, link down below. If you're watching this now, recently when 5.0 beta is um, currently the latest uh, build, so you have 5.0 beta and you're trying to download, trying to downgrade to 4.3.3. This video is um, completely for you. So here we have iTunes. We you need iTunes 10.5 beta, and you also need your um, firmware. So I have iPad 2 4.3.3 GSM. This is an iPad 3G, so uh, you can downgrade easily. And all you need to do is just Alt Option Restore. So you click the Alt Option key, and if you are on Windows, you click the Shift key, and you click the Restore button. So one more time, we'll do that again. Alt Option and the Restore button. So here now it's going to ask us to browse for our firmware. All we need to do is go and browse for it, of course, which is right here. Then here we go down, and here's the firmware itself, 4.3.3. Open. Now we're going to go ahead and click Restore. Now we just wait for everything to happen. So this will also help you guys who are on 5.0, say on an iPhone, and you don't have service, and you can't activate your phone because you don't have UDID registration. So you can do this no matter what. And if you are stuck with... Um, you cannot activate and iTunes doesn't allow you to access your phone you're going to turn off the device completely power it off this phone is not on 5.0 but I'm going to walk you through the steps so you make sure it's all the way off and also there will be a full video down in the description this is just while this is doing its stuff over there so that I can help everyone else with the other issues So you wait for this thing to fully turn off. And once that's totally off, you're going to want to plug in a USB cable right here and plug it into the computer. Now make sure it's fully off when you do that. And when it's fully off and you have it plugged in, and iTunes of course does not recognize it, you're going to hold the power for three seconds, wait for the Apple logo, you're going to hit the home button, you're going to just wait. and then you hold the home button and when you're plugged in and you do this it will appear in iTunes so a full walkthrough down there so and um, just so you guys can do that so of course that wasn't the best walkthrough because of course I'm not going to do it right now but just do that and the screen will be blank but iTunes will recognize it that it's in uh, restore mode uh, slash DFU mode so right here we have my iPad starting the restore From here, it's a piece of cake, and uh, we'll see what happens when uh, or I'll actually fast forward everything from here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, and now we have our iPad back. So you can see that that was actually very simple. So all you had to do is browse for the firmware, not just hit restore. And here we have the iPad 4.3.3. You can see um, that it is 4.3.3, but if you don't believe me, I'll go ahead and show you. So right there, 4.3.3. And uh, yeah, so that's the iPad downgrade. Now, again, if you're watching this after the fact of 5.0 beta, you are going to need the SHSH files. If you do not have them, you cannot downgrade. So that is my little uh, tip for it when uh, this video is still up after the beta. I usually don't like to take them down because it takes um, gets rid of like total upload views. So that's why I like to keep them up. But um, I just want this to be helpful for later after the fact of 5.0 beta. So I hope this helps everyone else who um, is stuck on 5.0 beta and updated without UDID registration. So um, rate, comment, and subscribe and check out iosforlife.com. Thanks. One thing I would like to stress is that if you are doing this after 5.0 beta, it will not be as straightforward. You will have to have your SHSH files for the firmware you're trying to download. The correct firmware, of course, and you will need to modify your host files. Again, all links in the description. If you're getting a 3194 error or something like that, before the iPad even goes into recovery mode or even the iPhone or iPod, whatever you're using, before it even goes into recovery mode, that means there's either a problem with your iTunes, or you don't have SHSH files, or you have not modified your host files. And if you're getting errors like 1015, 1003, or something like that, there's tools in the description that will help you out with that. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.